Hello everybody and welcome to your 27th C++ uh, Made Easy HD tutorial. Uh, so to get started you might notice that my IDE looks a bit different. It's just upgraded as Visual Studio 2012. As for code, the code runs fine on any IDE. It just uh, upgraded Visual Studio. Uh, now in the last tutorial I felt like I kind of rushed through things. I felt like I was trying to teach too many things at once and we were just doing everything at random. Uh, so in this tutorial, um, in the next tutorials coming up about classes, we're gonna I'm gonna be breaking down classes into different subsections, and then we'll learn it accordingly. So in this tutorial, we're gonna be learning about constructors and destructors. So first of all, what is a constructor and what is a destructor? Uh, so uh, a, a constructor is what's what is called during um the initialization of a class and the destructor is called when your d in initializing a class or destroying a class or it's, it comes out of scope you're not using it anymore uh so the constructor is used to like initialize basic stuff like say we have our health or attack power defense experience and stuff um we could use a constructor to initialize them and the destructor say for example you allocate something using new uh, we could use a destructor to put delete elements and stuff in there, right? So, um, let us let us look. F uh, let us look at uh, the constructor, for instance. Okay, so now we're gonna create a constructor, and we're gonna create a destructor. So, to create it, you create. Uh, you say the name of the class, and you put a parameter on around it, much like you create. Um. Uh, a method instead you don't have a type it's the name of the class for a destructor you have this little squiggly line I don't remember what it's called uh, but on my keyboard is below the escape key and you press shift and you um, press the button and you put the name of the class along with the parentheses okay uh, so just to for the scope is the same thing we just do player and player but we don't have a type in front of it uh, so same for the destructor okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say the player instance has been created successfully okay simple enough and what we're gonna do now in main is that we're gonna say player player okay so now we're not gonna do anything and watch what we're gonna get watch the result that we're gonna get uh, Okay, we're running into compile er errors. Oh, um, I said to the destructor. Okay, so when we run this program, uh, it says the player instance has been created successfully. So what just happened? When we create our instance of the class, what it does is it calls the constructor automatically. Now, what happens when we don't create a constructor? Well, it still calls a constructor, but whenever you don't override the constructor, it has a default one that it calls to, which nothing happens, right? So, right now, we're just overriding the default constructor, right? So, the constructor has a lot of similar properties, just like um, a function or a function or method does. So, for example, what if we want to uh, take in, uh, we want to initialize certain things. So, health, um, like, for example, uh, the constructor is good when you need certain things for the class to, uh, for the thing to run, right? So, um, I could, if I wanted to, I could have, say, an init function, right? And oh, I could say void init, and I could say that when I you call player initialize it initializes it health attack defense XP right, but uh, say I distribute my code to somebody else and they don't know they're supposed to do that right with a constructor then it can kind of force them to do it. So for example, so say I say in health um I say in attack uh, power I say in uh, defense and I'll say Int XP, and this is a and I gotta copy this and put it in here. So uh, one thing is that if we notice right here, we say we see that health um health is the same as health over here. So how do we distinguish between the two? There's two ways we could do it. We could use the scope operator and access it and say it's equal to health. And some of you are gonna be saying, wait, I thought health was private. How can we access it? 
we can access it because we're not using an instance of player we're using the actual um scope operator right um um so we're doing it within we're doing with within a player method right so therefore with, since it's within the player method then we can access it but private methods can't be access, accessed outside of player method so anyways we could do it like that or or we could use um this right here now uh we can use a this keyword what we do is a this keyword and we do um a dash and an arrow that means a pointer i'm going to learn more about the this key later but what this does is that it points to an error um something within our class so we're going to say this health is equal to health so it knows that we're referring to the health and the player class right but to not confuse you guys with that we're just going to use a scope operator so we're going to say uh the health is equal to health we're gonna say the attack power is equal to ATK power, and since th these two names are different, then we can easily just put um, attack power is equal to attack power, um, and then we can say player defense is equal to defense. See, if you don't put the scope, then it thinks that you're referring to the parameter. So you ha either have to use the scope or you have to use this, and um, you say XP is equal to XP. So right off the bat, if you notice right here, now we got an error, right? It says there's no default constructor can exist for a class player. So when we create it now, and now we have to initialize these things in order for um um in order for things to work. So it still has a default constructor, so we could either use a default constructor, which is nothing, or uh we can um use um the health right here so by default i can set the health to 100 i could set the attack power to 50 um defense to 60 xp to 76 whatever and right off the bat then these values get added to this so we have the essential things that we need in order to create the class okay uh so uh let's see what else that we can do with constructor so um let's take a look at uh the the player constructor up here okay so notice how we, we initialize it right here and we can initialize it like within the constructor but what if we want to initialize it uh, right away so what we could do is put the colon sign and what we do is that we take the variable from that class and um we put in the value that we want to set for it so we can do that um, in the order that we set it in. So attack power uh, power is equal to ATK pow. Uh, defense is equal to defense in the parameter. And XP is equal to XP in the parameter. Okay. And then we have to just put um, the, the two braces that ended off. Okay. So uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase this constructor right here and uh what we're gonna say is um display health and we'll just do it in here uh we'll just say see out health so uh so let's call player dot display health. So let's run this. Okay, so as we can see, we get the value 100. So although we never uh, displayed it um, directly right here, the value that we pass into it got set to the health right there. So if we want to change the health um, to 10, and we run this one more time, the value we get is 10 so you can initialize uh, the uh, you can initialize uh, uh, constructors and stuff that way now I'm going to end the tutorial um, right now and we'll continue talking about constructors and we'll talk more about destructors in the next tutorial so hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye